please beware of medication coupon programs when it comes to when you're on Medicare. The thing is, coupon programs absolutely fill a unique role and can be useful if they're used in the right way. But too many people don't fully understand how they work or are misguided as to how they work, which can lead to penalties and a lot of issues later on. So in this video, let's talk about what the coupons are. When does it make sense to use a coupon for your medication once you're on Medicare? And when does it make sense not to use a coupon? I'm Emily with The Medicare Coach. We're an independent consultant helping our clients easily navigate both the Medicare rules that the government sets, but also the insurance company options that are available to help you do what's right for you to both protect your healthcare rights as well as your retirement savings. And I have some extra resources down below to give you a bit more of a jump start and a shortcut when it comes to Medicare. So when it comes to medication coupon programs, I'm talking about places like GoodRx or Single Care or Cost Plus. There's a ton of them, right? And I bring this up because Kathy came to me the other day and she goes, Emily, I was told by my pharmacist that I could just use a single care coupon program for my medications and I didn't need a Medicare Part D drug plan. But I'm trying to apply for a Part D drug plan right now and I'm getting penalized. So she's like, what's happening? I want to be really clear that coupon programs definitely fill a role when it comes to Medicare. But it does not meet Medicare's requirements. Medicare rules say by the time you're 65 and over, you must have a creditable prescription drug plan. And if you don't, you will be penalized. Now, there are plenty of ways to get a creditable plan, whether it be for, through an employer plan, a retiree plan, a Part D plan, Advantage plan with drug coverage. There are plenty of ways to get it. But the key is this. The coupon programs that are out there do not meet Medicare rules. And so she's now going to have penalties for the rest of her life because she didn't have that creditable prescription drug plan. So I have no issue with using coupons in the right situation, but I don't really think that the coupons alleviate the need for a Medicare prescription drug plan because you need to have a prescription drug plan to avoid penalties. Okay. So Coupon programs make sense in many cases. Number one, if you have a medication where the coupon is cheaper than your Medicare or your creditable prescription drug plan copay, and you never hit your copay, your, your plan's deductible, a coupon could definitely make sense in that case. I don't necessarily want people to be using coupons though if they're going to eventually hit the deductible on their plan. And the reason for that is in some cases, we want to hit your deductible on your plan as soon as possible because your copays can decrease in the future. So I'm fine with using copays in the right situation. Sometimes it makes sense, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. So let's just get clear on that. I'm also okay with medication coupon programs when your Part D plan does not cover your medication at all. And in that case, absolutely use a coupon. The coupon does not replace a creditable prescription drug plan, but it can save you money, so please do use it. So the key to this session is, one, coupon programs have value in some situations, but they do not replace the need for a creditable prescription drug plan, so please be aware of that and not be misguided or misled when it comes to the rules. If you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you have questions, put the questions in the comment section below. I look forward to helping you easily make your right Medicare decision.